Hello, my name is Kerry Simpson from Indianapolis, Indiana, and this is my interpersonal communication project for the HSER 508 course. Uh, the definition of communication is, in the most general sense, the terms communication and communicating label the continuous, complex, collaborative process of verbal and nonverbal meaning making, according to Stewart. Continuous is from the beginning of birth and continues on till after uh, we've died and it continues on. Complex because so many areas uh, are, are used in communicating. Body language, how we talk, and uh, other features. And collaborative, we need to all work together to uh, have the meaning we want to make. Meaning making is when we live in a world of meaning and there is uh, express ourselves through meaning. Overarching goal. Mine is to work with the youth in some capacity. I work at a local high school as a uh, instruction aide, but I feel God has more for me to accomplish. And how I'm going to do this is by taking uh, what I've learned from this course and working with youth and use it towards working with youth. This includes communicating with my co-workers in order to reach young people and to make a difference in their lives. My behavioral blend was, uh, when I took the test for my behavioral blend, uh, I was amazed at how accurate it was in, in uh, assessing me and what I was like. What is expected of me is SI, which is the uh, I've got to be inspiring and submissive. I'm a people person, and I do care how people feel. The Bible tells us in uh, 1 Corinthians 13, 13, that faith, hope, and love, and the greatest of these is love. Without love, all we do is make noise, and that doesn't happen anyway. Uh, we have to care for our, our fellow man. And then this is me. I, I tend to be more laid back. I do have uh, strong people skills. I'm outgoing and reser uh, reserved depending on the situation I'm in. My boss tells me the kids at the school will love me. I treat them with respect, not so much as a supervisor. They know I care and I always have a positive attitude and want them to uh, see that. So they can mirror my example. Uh, this is this may be the only time that day or any day that they get any kind of positive interaction. And uh, I always really I was really excited to see my feelings and my actions put on paper when I took that test. It was just really exciting to see how accurate it really was. Barriers. There were several barriers to, uh, uh, was discussed in this course. I'm going to talk about a couple of them here. Uh, perception, reception, and attention. How we perceive a person or subject will affect how we receive the message. This can affect how an individual will listen at uh, level one, two, or three. The speaker has to get the attention of the listener. If the listener doesn't care, the message will be lost. Bias listening, having a formed opinion of the subject being discussed, or the listener has a opinion about the speaker, or the speaker can use a, a, a buzzword that triggers an emotion in the listener, which can be both a positive or negative. Noise pollution. Let's say you're sitting in church and uh, the baby's making noise, the couple's next to you talking, and uh, people coming in and out. Well, all these noises can be very easily taken, take your attention away from the message. Uh, the church tries to do their part by announcing to stop all these things, but it doesn't always work. So we have to really listen more intently to the message if we want to get anything out of it. Also, uh, 
unfamiliar accent. I really, I really like to listen to uh, Pastor Prince of, uh, uh, on the TV. He's a, uh, he's a Philippine, and uh, his accent is really thick. I love his message of grace, how God is graceful. Uh, I, I can't always understand what he's saying, but the more I listen to him, the better I understand what he's saying. His English is kind of, his accent's thick, and his English is kind of hard to understand sometimes, but the more I listen to him, the better off I, I am at trying to listen to what his message is saying, what he's saying in his message. And my action plan is I always thought of myself as a good listener. Not so much now after taking this course. I know now that I have to work at really listening. I have to stop giving advice when it's time to listen and just listen. I need to become a level one listener more often. And that's hard to do, but that's something I got to work on, and I know from this course that's something I'm going to do. James 1, tell, James 1 19 tells us uh, to listen, don't react, just listen. Several of the communication books in this course talked about listening, and uh, that's what I'm going to try to do with the, what I take from this course is to be a better listener. Thank you.